Cities and towns could soon be banned from banning specific breeds of dogs and cats. House lawmakers passed the bill last night, and tonight we have reaction from one city where pit bulls have been banned for nearly a decade. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson is in Pawtucket now from the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom. You'd be hard pressed to find a pit bull here in Pawtucket in recent years, but state lawmakers are trying to change that, much to the chagrin of the local animal shelter. This stray pit bull found in April has been staying here in the Pawtucket Animal Shelter. It's the only one of its kind. There haven't been many since Pawtucket banned people from owning the breed back in 2004. The pit bull is a very loyal dog. Brought up the right way, it's a good dog. Unfortunately, Pawtucket Animal Control Officer John Holmes says that's not always the case. Drug dealers and the people that were fighting these dogs in the rear of the housing projects where we were picking them up on a regular basis. Before 2004, Holmes recalls numerous attacks annually involving pit bulls. But since the ban went into effect, he says there's only been one minor incident. Holmes worries that may change following new legislation that would prevent cities or towns from enacting an ordinance against a specific breed of dog, cat, or other animal. On Wednesday, the House voted 59 to 10 in favor of the ordinance. Among those against were representatives from Pawtucket. We will certainly abide by the state law that certainly oversees any city ordinance. But I am, I'm so afraid that we're going to go backwards now. We're going to go back to prior to 2004. And it's unfortunate that these dogs are going to have to suffer now. And, that, you know, these people are going to be going out and getting more pit bulls and don't know how to take care of them. The five representatives who introduced the legislation serve in Cranston and Providence. Holmes says he fears that if the pit bull population does rise in Pawtucket again, these cages could be filled with the dogs once again. With the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.